How you guys doing? It's Kaijo. In this video, we're going to talk about the Vuttering Waves developer that are taking action now against leakers. It seems like leakers are finally getting what they deserve because they're literally going against their contract. For information, what are leakers? For the people that don't know, these are people who release unreleased content into the internet or social media before the deaths. Most of the time, they have signed an agreement, an NDA, which means non-disclosure agreement, meaning pretty much they are not allowed to talk about it or neither share it on the internet makes sense it's literally a violation of the contract and Kuro games is pretty much allowed to take legal action if they go against this contract they have signed and it seems like that the Valorant waves developers are now taking action they are now addressing the elephant in the room what is about to happen with people that leak and yeah let's jump into this because we have a tweet here from the Valorant waves development team Let's read this first before we go deeper into this. Dear Rovers, we have noticed that unreleased Watering Waves content has been leaked onto social media platforms. Disseminating incomplete information about the game may undermine players' enjoyment of the game as a whole, dampen the enthusiasm of content creators, and disrupt the development of future content. To maintain the health of our community, any unauthorized disclosure of Watering Waves content is strictly prohibited. Let's work together to prevent such behavior and we appreciate your continued support for Watering Waves. And I think this is not the first time they have tweeted about this, that it's no good if you spread leaks on the internet. And it seems like that now there's something official going on. Uh, looking at one of the statements that they've given, uh, this one is in Chinese and there's also a stamp, but there is actually a translated full post on the Reddit, which we are also going to take. Uh, a look at i mean there's a reason why i never talk about leaks on my channel i never spread leaks it's actually something that i try to avoid which is these days very hard to do but more about this later because this is quite an interesting topic to talk about let's now take a look at the translated version of the the full post the official statement regarding the dissemination of unreleased content recently we have discovered that some users have leaked and spread unreleased content of the game watering waves on various internet platforms such behavior, whether directed at players or our project team, causes significant damage. In response, Kuro Games makes the following serious statement. Unreleased Watering Waves content, including but not limited to version activities, character information and storyline, is considered our company's trade secret. Any unauthorized accusation, sharing or dissemination of such trade secrets for commercial purposes is considered a violation of our rights. At present, we have collected relevant evidence of certain users leaking and sharing sensitive content. We will now take appropriate legal action to protect our lawful interests. Yep, they are taking now legal action against some of these people that are spreading leaks. I'm not sure in which regions is this only a CN statement. Does this also include global leakers? I have no idea. Let's read this further. We believe that some individuals' unauthorized leaking of in-development content not only disrupts the immersive experience for players of the official Watering Waves game, but also causes serious interference with our project team's scheduling and planning. This kind of behavior does not contribute to creative freedom and severely dampens our team's passion for game development. I can only imagine what it feels like if somebody uh, spreads something that you've been working on for a long time and without your permission, they just upload it. It's not even done. You've been working so hard to make the to give the players a very big surprise. And it's literally getting ruined by, by freaking people that just break their NDA and contract. I think a lot of users would say something different, but more about this later, because I also want to jump into the comment section. Since Watering Waves began its official testing, each update and new version of the game has received overwhelming attention and positive feedback from the player base. We deeply appreciate the love players have shown for Watering Waves and the anticipation surrounding each new version content. The project team is immensely grateful for the support, and every update brings us closer to our shared vision of delivering the official experience to each player. So yeah, they are taking legal action now against channels or social media platforms or some uh, people that are literally spreading stuff in the internet. Uh, we know about this one or two or multiple um, people that got sued by me, Hoyo, Hoyoverse. You don't know what's going to happen. But I want to drift a little bit off here because something very interesting is happening in the comments section. Because people are literally siding with the leakers here on Reddit here specifically. Uh, here people say, I, I agree as far as story spoilers go, but character animations and kids straight into my eyeballs meaning this guy likes leaks they want to see what the characters look like in game they want to see what they can do 
Um, they should just do the beta like PGR does, let people see animations, playstyle with caveat it's STC. I think PGR actually has open beta, so yeah, maybe that could be something they could do. Then very one interesting comment here, 190 upvotes. Maybe we could compromise character kit leaks only and no story leaks? Question mark. I don't know. I honestly hate that people think that there's something to compromise when you are breaking an NDA. It's not allowed to share these leaks. How is there even a compromise to make? There is none. But let's keep on reading this. Story leaks can easily be misconstrued, spoiler surprises, and probably make rewriting harder. Character kit leaks help players plan spending and only generate hype to be honest now this is something i can agree on i do think some of the stuff that we see from leaks it's literally unavoidable to this day sometimes i am actively avoiding leaks and i still keep seeing this on either tiktok maybe twitter or youtube even character kit doom posting advertises the character there's whole communities for discussing speculating theory crafting kit leaks in many popular gacha games i do get where, where he is coming from and i do know many people actively are partaking in leaks because there's so many leakers on social media platforms. And one of the biggest ones on Twitter has like 80,000 followers and they are actively spreading leaks. And it makes sense, especially for free to plays. I think they just wanna know who are the next characters, who should they be saving up for? Should they skip dispatch characters to save up for the next one? Which one looks more interesting? But then you have the other side, which people literally don't get surprised anymore. I feel like it's, it's like Christmas back in the days. If you got spoiled, which Christmas gift you got at Christmas, it literally ruins the, the surprise. But also from my content creator view, I do think it's quite an interesting thing to talk about because I see so many YouTube channels making their main content talking about leaks. And I just don't think that's good. Um, you're literally sharing something that's not allowed to do. It's kind of weird how normalized uh, looking at leaks got to this day. It's like a, such a normal thing. Even on TikTok, you open up TikTok, people uh, share their gameplay leaks. They make some sick edits already. The character's not even out. And there's some funny, epic music, TikTok compilations with gameplay of these characters. While I do also understand that it actually advertises the game a lot. I think leaks are literally free ads for the game. It literally boosts up the players maybe, it boosts up the hype for the game and the upcoming versions. So it's a very juicy topic to talk about. If you would ask me about my own opinion, I don't know when the last time was when I was genuinely surprised about something. Hey, imagine if we hadn't known that Jian Liao was free. I don't know what I would have felt like at the moment watching the trailer. I got spoiled from the social media pretty much very early on. While it might be against the majority here, I am definitely siding here with Kuro Games. It's something that pretty much ruins the surprise. It's something that ruins the developer's uh, moral developing something because people just share something that they're not allowed to do. It might be something that's actually gonna uh, hinder the developers in the future by not giving as many people access to the test servers, uh, making the game worse because not enough people can test it anymore. I do also think that leaks are unavoidable at this point. They should do something about this normalization that people should be aware that leaks are literally not allowed. This culture has gone too far. But yeah, we're gonna see what Watering Waves and Kuro Games are gonna do. Are they gonna actually find out about these leakers? Are they gonna pursue them? Because I know in Genshin, there was multiple examples where they found out the real names of these people. They had IP address checkups with Twitter, with Discord. And yeah, you're pretty much done for if you're um, getting pursued. Well, I might be not siding here with the majority because I do think the users, the player experience, very, very much is on the side of the leakers. They wanna see the content early. They wanna know what they're saving up for they want to know what they should be farming for but that's also something that i think kuro games could be improving too i think the drip marketing is way too limited and they're only sharing the design of the character and the rarity they're not sharing the element they're not sharing the weapon they're not sharing the role i think they should improve this so people might not be as likely to watch leaks maybe yeah be the leakers yourself kuro games just give more information this is pretty much how you maybe can avoid or make people not as likely to watch leaks because i can definitely see here that uh, people are against story spoilers but they are for character kits and gameplay leaks so <laughs> yeah i don't know what i should think about this i am somebody who has been actively avoiding leaks i don't want to engage in leaks i'm never posting them on my channel never will and i also think it's quite disrespectful doing it against a company that is so generous to us that has been treating us nothing but with respect 
they have been so generous they have been giving us such a good game <laughs> yeah it's kind of disrespecting the company but let me know guys what you guys think about this topic i will read some of your comments and maybe make an updated video about this if there's more about this lawsuit they're taking i mean they're taking legal action right now and i also saw already some youtubers reacting to this saying it's gg no more leaks i don't think leaks are gonna stop ever it's unavoidable at this point but making the community more aware that it's actually not allowed to share these leaks would be just a good very first step and i think this warning here is is a good attempt i guess so that's it with this video that's my opinion and thank you guys for watching so far if you want to see more about this content uh, subscribe i would really appreciate it we almost reached 40,000 subscribers so yeah thank you guys for watching and i see you in the next one Bye bye